Doctor, it's Mr. Mistopheles. It's my cat. He died. Uh, Jesus, can I sit down? Can I... Can I put my Pepsi down? And get some... Get some breathing room in here? God! I don't know what I'm gonna do, Doctor. I'm all alone now. Oh, boo. Mr. Mistopheles kept me company for two years. Out of the six that he lived in the house, he was kind of a slut. He was never around. But I don't know what I'm gonna do without him. I mean, I can't imagine living without Mr. Mistopheles. Well, you're not having any dangerous thoughts, are you? No, I destroyed those feelings like you ordered. Well, good. Because you know I have strong policy against dog owners. They can't set foot in here. Uh, no. Those people are head to toe covered in felt. Well, anyway, I was considering... These are people who voluntarily pick dog shit from the floor with their bare human hands. Nope. I won't tolerate it. Right, do you think... Oh, but I'm glad you brought it up because last year oh. I ran an informal poll among my colleagues... 100% of my Aunt Polly claim that they would pick dog shit from the floor before their very own. I mean, it's a disease. Well, and I'm working hard to get it included in the book. You mean the American Association Manual for Diagnosis of Mental Exactly, Mental David Sedaris's new collection of essays. See, I send him little tidbits of our conversations. You, he thinks it's hilarious. I tell you, one day, we'll make it into the big book. I don't know, doctor. Right now, I feel like I just want to go to sleep and wake up in one year when the pain is gone. <coughs> Wait. <coughs> a year? You think that? <coughs> you think that's how long? It's... A year? <coughs> Wait. Are you suggesting we do hypnotic therapy? Because I could really use some quiet time. <laughs> I could try for a puppy. They're cute. A rabbit, maybe? Mm. Mm hmm. And with birds, I get secondhand cage anxiety. Mm hmm. But I don't know if I can ever replace Mr. Mistopheles. You see, Stephanie, the question is. That's not my name. Well, the question remains. Do you think you're capable of taking care of another living thing other than yourself? Because, I mean, you're doing a pretty lousy job here and you only have to lie down on the couch. <laughs> well, you would be taking care of a living thing. Like a plant? Mmm, more like a fruit fly? They live for one day only. And so we'll take it one day at a time. You know what, Doctor? I like that idea. I thought you would. Wow. You know what? I'm feeling better. I know. And for a fruit fly, <laughs> it's so sad. Excuse me? I said I'm not mad. Even though you know what you did. You disgust me. Get the hell out of my office. Freak!